Hello and welcome back to Ramblings. It's been almost four years. Um, but this week's episode, well, not this week's, but this year's episode, this decade's episode, um, we're going to have to take a little trip, so follow me. of the UK's number one student's union, this is Forge Radio. Your university soundtrack. Welcome to Forge Towers, or whatever we call it, the media hub in the Sheffield Students Union. This is where it all happens, this is where my student media journey, whatever you want to call it, um, all began. Uh, well, technically it began online using a Google Docs, but... Um, who's for pedantry yeah so welcome to Forge we've got the big chalkboard behind me that's the entrance just there uh, I think to be honest the best thing to do regarding this video is to do it in the studio where I've broadcast live across the world wide web um, <laughs> over the last sort of two years so we can start to talk a little bit about my Forge radio student radio story um, I thought I'd bring this series back after four years, nearly four years even, um, because I've got plenty of interesting stuff to do and, and at last you're going to see why I've been so absent from the YouTubes for so very long. Um, admittedly, third year of university has been immensely busy and I've been doing a, a hell of a lot of work regarding that, so it's it's been difficult to make videos. But hopefully there will be a few videos coming out over the uh, summer period um, although even even then I'm massively snowed under with paid work, so thanks to the University of Sheffield for paying me to do loads of work, but also sorry to you lot um, for for having to wait around a lot. But yeah, let's head into the studio and we can do a little bit more talking about my student radio story. Isn't that lovely? Apologies for this, I am having some technical issues, um, unfortunately the system has decided to just play what it likes, so uh, do do forgive me for the time being, I'll be with you soon.
So I did tell you <coughs> not to expect much, you know, we don't have some sort of boardroom, uh, although I would quite like one. Um, this is just, well, it's actually technically the, the Forge Press side, so we have a newspaper here that's been going since about 1950. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be <laughs> the press side. Press never use it, so I think it's been commandeered by TV. It's also where we used to keep the Nintendo GameCube with a... Um, with a game controller and we used to play Crazy Taxi here after committee meetings um, on this really creaky, awful settee. But anyway, um, at the end of second year, I ran in the AGM for Head of Programming. I got that, so that meant that my role then was on committee. You know, I met every Wednesday night to discuss the running of the station. I was in charge of putting together the schedule and things, which was a lot of fun. Um, I became heavily involved in just all aspects of the station from that point on. Um, probably more involved than I actually needed to be with the committee role that I had, but I thought, you know, I wanted to be in charge, to, to be fair, I mean, I probably wanted to be station manager, but um, the rule then was you had to be on for a year, um, but we got round to there in the end, um, and that was great, again, I went to Student Radio Association conference in Exeter with the committee, which was a hell of a lot of fun, uh, we did like this demo factor thing there, um, we're actually looking at hosting it this year, um, no idea whether I'm supposed to out that or not, but I am doing, sorry Asher, if I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so it, that was a great deal of fun, going down to Exeter with a few of my friends, uh, Amelia, Elle, a girl called Leah, um, who else went, Fred, and my mate Matt and Asher. <laughs> who's the current deputy station manager, although he was treasurer at the time. Most of those people were on committee, I think all but Amelia, um, who is now on committee for next year. Um, great group of people, absolutely loved working with them all. Um, a lot of them are graduating, Leah, Matt, Fred, um, L, they're all graduating, so it's, it's going to be a sad time. I mean, I'm supposed to be graduating. Fingers crossed, though, I'll be back next year to do a Masters. Um, I'll be doing my Masters in Broadcast Journalism, which is what I've wanted to do since I was 15, uh, since I started this YouTube, really. Um, so that'll be quite fun, but I've just got to get a 2-1, um, which just uh, it might not be as easy as possible, uh, uh, easy as it sounds. Um, and then, at the end, uh, at, the, in, at the AGM for this year, um, I've been elected, well, it, it was a long story, but let's just say I've been elected as the station manager, so now I am in charge, um, myself and Asher, um, he's official title is deputy, but I mean I see him as an equal, um, same with a lad called Sebastian, um, who I caught up with earlier. So here he is, the man of the hour sort of, um, our new, well, relatively new, he's a first year, bless him, uh, head of sport, Seb Jones, how are you? I'm very good, thank you Sam, how are you? I'm oh, not bad, not bad, so you've been involved in radio about, well, just under a year now, because it's your first, first, yes. full year, first year going at it, so have you enjoyed it and what, what have you been doing? Yeah, I've sincerely enjoyed my time here at Forge Radio since joining in uh, October, so just one month after the start of my undergraduate studies. Uh, everyone has been really welcoming, it's been a nice, friendly community atmosphere, and yeah, just all around good fun uh, so far in my role. Uh, I've presented two shows a week, uh, so that's been Sports Desk, our uh, sports weekly panel show where we discuss the the latest sports news, and then A View From Terrace, which is uh, similar to Sports Desk, but that's solely focusing on football. Uh, so my uh, job, if you like, for the past year has been, been presenting those two shows, allowing contributions from uh, over 30 different people over the course of the year from a range of different levels of study, and uh, yeah, that's been really fun. And then we also, uh, myself and my deputy, also introduced a new show called South York Sport, which sort of increased our interaction with um, sport outside of uh, the, the walls of the studio. So sort of going in, going and speaking to uh, people in Sheffield who have got some sort of passion for sport, who might be involved in sport, um, who are sort of well known within within their sports. Um, so yeah, that's been really good to, to connect with uh, exterior sporting world. And you've had some pretty good guests on the uh, South Yorkshire Sport, haven't you? We so have, yeah. Do you want so to tell us about those? Yeah, we were fortunate enough to speak to uh, Barnsley Chief Executive Officer Khaled El Hamid. Uh, so he was our first guest on the show. Nice uh, way to we, start. We launched that, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we've since then had uh, BBC Radio Sheffield's Adam Oxford come on a couple of times, chatting about what he does, what his role are, and then also giving his sort of insight into the clubs, uh, the local clubs that, that we cover. 
Uh, we've also had uh, Keith Hackett. So Keith is a former FIFA referee. So he's uh, refereed on international stages and he used to be in charge of the PGMOL. Uh, we've also spoke to uh, Mike Tuck, who was uh, the Sheffield Sharks, which is basketball uh, captain for over 10 years and now coaches for the University of Sheffield. And we've had other guests on as well, such yeah. as uh, other commentators and guests from Sheffield. No, it's been brilliant. You've done done great this year, haven't you? And I'm glad to see you've enjoyed it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's been 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 good. And looking forward to next year, where we're going to increase our sports content even more. Oh, we've got so many plans for next year. Absolutely, haven't we? yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be <laughs> it good. It is. It's going to be smashing. It's going to be smashing. So yeah, that's Seb. Great kid. Uh, quite a local boy as well from Barnsley. Um, not far away at all. He's a Barnsley fan. He's done some amazing things for the radio this year. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what he does next year. He's going to be head of sport again. But um, I mean, we're, we're, we're effectively treating him as, as a top brass as well. Uh, and yeah, it's it's been a great two years doing something that I've really enjoyed. And it's why I do genuinely implore anyone who is interested in the radio or broadcasting to get involved in your student radio, get involved in student media. And if you live in a city that has a university, look out for their student media. You know, we've got these, we've got a big stack of newspapers over there. In fact, I'll get some. This is just a small selection of the surplus newspapers that we have. This is Forge Press, um, the newspaper that's been going for donkey's years. Uh, although under many different names, it was called Darts at one point and all sorts. But yeah, um, just get involved in it and, and, and read your student papers and stuff because there's some really, really good journalism in that and um, the circulation needs to be better and that's to be fair what we're going to try and get better at as a, as a whole outlet. Um, I've been involved in, in all the broadcast outlets, not really been involved in press in my time during Forge. I've done TV, a lot of TV. I was on TV's committee as their head of training. Um, I presented the, oh, what did I present for? The second year of uni, I presented the SU elections debate. Good evening, I'm Sam Eyre and I'm your host for this evening. And uh, this is the debate for the education officer and these are the candidates. They presented the results night both last year and this year. Hell of a lot of fun, really recommend it. Are we ready to find out who our next student officer team is? Yeah. Fantastic, let's get started. Over the past few weeks you've seen and heard students campaigning to be your next student officer team. So let's go over them. There are seven full-time SU officer positions and five part-time. Um, I presented, obviously I did the Desert Island Discs in the radio studio. Officer elections on Ford Radio. For the students, by the students. Hello, I'm Sam Air. I'm here with you for the next two hours. And in this episode, this special election special, we will be doing Desert Island Discs with our SU presidential candidates. Joining me first in the studio is Ali Khan. Hello, welcome to Forge Radio. Hello, it's nice to be here. And I also did uh, the ice hockey presented, which was so much fun. Me um, and Hannah, we were both presenting it with a pundit. I actually knew what he was on about. Um, Hannah and I were sort of a little bit bla uh, blagging it, but we did a brilliant job. She's a brilliant broadcaster as well. Um. Hello and welcome to Forge TV's coverage of the ice hockey final held here at the Utilita Arena. It's set to be a fantastic night and the seats behind us are already filling up. I'm Hannah Mraga, your presenter, and I'm joined with your punditry team, Sam and Oliver. Guys, how are we feeling? Well, I'm incredibly excited for what should be a great night of sport out there on the ice. As we can see, things are already starting to fill up. The beer's flowing already. It's going to be incredibly exciting. And I, for one, I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens at the final of Varsity 2023. Just while I'm on the topic of um, Forge TV, I won this award with them at the Activities Awards. It was great. Um, awards have been something that we've won a fair few of in the past. As you can see, we've got... Plenty up here, and plenty over here as well. Loads of stuff. Um, some of them really old, like College Newspaper of the Year, 1994. There's even one back there. I'm fairly sure that's, yeah, 1989. And I will say there's one from the, there's another one from the 80s. But these are for the newspaper, these are darts. Yeah, there you go, 1982 is that? Yes, darts. There's some, <laughs> some really old stuff. And then we actually have quite a modern SRA award up there. 
for sports coverage, which we'd quite like to go for again. I'm hoping it continues next year, because if it doesn't, then I'd, I'll be very, very sad. I shall miss the Media Hub. It's been a great place to come and sit when the library's around and you don't really want to speak to anyone outside of Forge. And it, We've created a great community here, and if you're joining the University of Sheffield, definitely come and join us, because we're a great set of people, and um, we've got big plans, incredibly big plans. And, Ash is going to do some amazing things next year. I'm going to do some some cool stuff next year, and it's going to be amazing. So, yeah, uh, that's a bit of a ramble done. Uh, a little bit more of a choppy ramble than I'm used to. One thing I will just say about this office, by the way, the view. I mean, today's a bit crap because it's 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 smoggy and raining, which is not the kind of uh, weather we've been having around here uh, recently. It certainly wasn't this morning. This morning it was lovely and warm, which is when I filmed the bits of trans. But now it's about half five and it's pretty grim so yeah it's, it's great but yeah thank you very much for watching keep your eye out for more videos there should be a few more about um soon because i've got nothing well i've got loads to do but i've not got as much to do so i'll be not neglecting the radio station uh, the radio station the youtube channel quite as much as i have done over the last year but yeah other than that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time like comment subscribe cheers